this video we're going to look at creating sections in an elementary school. This is helpful if you have already done the spreadsheet and you've figured out your number of sections of ATT, AM, and PM courses as well as your curricular courses, knowing they will not be the same, especially whenever you have split classes. So I'm going to work in the school view schedule top tab in the master side tab right now I can see there's no courses scheduled, there's no ATT classes, there's no curricular courses at all. The first thing we're going to do is go into the structure tab, make sure there's a full year course in here. Oftentimes after conversion we'll go back in and just uncheck that, check it, save it, make sure everything is good. You may or may not see a grade term cover map at the start. That is not a concern at this point in time. Days, you'll need days. For an elementary school, you're going to be 1, D1, Day 1, or D1. Periods, you're going to have two periods, AM and PM. A lot of this is going to be set up for you. And you'll not need to make changes to this, but it's worthwhile checking it. Your bell schedules, you should have a bell schedule. Um, again, representing essentially the AM and the PM of the day start times duration. These will be filled in for you. The next thing we want to go to is the schedule attributes and this will show us all the courses that we have brought down. These will be brought down for you but if you needed to bring some other ones down it would be under courses options add and you'd be able to draw from the district catalog so whatever the district has drawn down you'll be able to draw. But our first, uh, first go at this we will bring these down for you. So going back to schedule attributes, I can look at all these different courses and right now none of them have any sections that are being prepared to be built. So you have several options on how you can define the sections for this. You can go into this, the course itself and open it up and tell it the number of sections or we can use the options and modify list uh, option. I want to see my ATT courses, which I don't see right now, so I'm just going to go filter all records. Because I knew I brought them down to the school. And I need 17 sections, because I have 17 homerooms for ATT AM and 17 for ATT PM. So I'm going to show you two options in terms of starting the creation of the sections. I'm going to click on the course title, sections scheduled, I'm going to change from zero. 17. I'm going to hit save. From here I can move on to the next course using the navigation buttons. The next course in the list was ATTPM. I could put in 17 here but instead I'm going to show you the other option. So now you can see I have 17 sections that are going to be waiting to be scheduled. I want to change this zero so we have the option of clicking on here. I also have the option of options, modify list, click on the pencil for sections and I can go down all of my different curricular subject areas and enter in the number of sections needed for that area. This is probably the way you're going to do this. But you do need to use a spreadsheet that uh, has all of your homerooms and the number of uh, grades and split grades here to determine this. Your administrator will uh, work with you on this. So I need 17 for this. I would go and work my way through this and then I would hit the save button up at the top with the green check mark. So I'm not going to do this right now but I'm just going to start with the ATTM and ATTPM courses. Save my changes, warns you do you want to save. From here I need to initialize the courses so I'm going to go to the master side tab. There's no courses created. I'm going to go to options initialize sections. All this is covered in the elementary scheduling doc but this video hopefully makes it a little bit easier for people that want to watch it instead of read it. So course selections um, I'm going to do all courses right now because I've only got two courses. You can do it by selections and start which ones you want to start at. I'm going to click OK. Depending on the numbers you have it uh, could take some time, but that was pretty quick to create 34 different sections in total. As you scroll down ATT AM001, so that's the section number 001. Our default, this is called the pad length, 
is three uh, digits, and so it starts at 001 and just numbers them automatically. You can then change those section numbers uh, pretty much however you like within 20 characters. So if you don't want to keep 001, as in the attendance for homeroom one, you can edit that. So I can go and click on this, where it says section number. If you know that Mr. Bell is teaching homeroom one, you could change that to 01 Bell. Go back to my list, and now it's changed the sort order, but there's 01 Bell. And it changes the section. So your number, your section uh, number does not have to be numeric. It can be alphanumeric up to 20 characters. So if I'm doing something like that, I'd want to go find ATT PM001 for Bell. Unless, of course, you have a different teacher taking the attendance in the afternoon for that homeroom. There's lots of options for you as to uh, how you do that depending on your situation, which is quite nice. So that's a quick look at um, setting the schedule attributes for your courses, picking the number of sections, initializing the sections, and then changing the section names. One of our next videos will be looking at assigning students and pushing them out into their classes that they need.